What is a virtual machine? I get this question asked quite many times from teachers, from other people, and people I've worked with because I work in the education department at a high school, believe it or not. So anyways, what is a virtual machine? Well, to put it quite simply, a virtual machine allows you to run another operating system on your computer. Now, what is an operating system? Well, that's quite simply put, something that allows you to control your computer or operate it thus being the term operating system. Windows, for example, is an operating system. Linux is an operating system. Mac OS X is an operating system. So you've got these operating systems, and let's say that software is not compatible. You want to run, I don't know, for example, Doom 2, and you need Windows 95 to run it. Well, I have Windows 7 here, and I can't get the compatibility layer to work correctly or make it, it, it just won't work, quite frankly. So let's say I need to, to basically make it work. So you'd actually need to have something that would allow you to run these virtual machines, or virtual, you would need a virtual appliance, essentially. So now you know what a virtual machine is, but a virtual appliance is what runs these virtual machines. A good one is VMware Player, which is free. You can create your own virtual machine and if you don't know how to install an operating system I am actually show in my previous videos I've shown how to install a virtual machine and you can click that if you want or go in the comment section and click that or the information section I should say and you will know how to install a virtual machine so but today we're gonna just be talking about VMware Workstation and why I prefer VMware Workstation VMware Workstation is really, it's essentially a pro product, and it's not the cheapest in the world, but it is very nice because it's a manager like no manager for a virtual machine. So, for example, I can take a snapshot and also capture a movie, for example, like this one, and get information about my virtual machine that way and showcase it off to the public. I can also create is what's called a scap, uh, snapshot, which basically allows you to take a, a copy of the virtual machine, and if you mess anything up, you can revert to this old one. It's more or less a backup system, and it's very nice because you take several snapshots and you could change different stuff. You can even infect a computer with a virus using a virtual machine if you so desired to and want to remove a virus. It's really great training. A virtual machine is great for training and it really is pretty much good for anything for running applications to training to testing out applications on different operating systems and to really getting in to a geekier side of you and trying out something new. So what do you need to run VMware Workstation? Well, you need a decent processor. I'd recommend at least a Core 2 Duo. If you're not on a Core 2 Duo, then there's something wrong. If you're on anything below a Core 2 Duo, and you can look this up on the internet. If you're on a Pentium 4, forget it. Do not try to even run a uh, virtual machine, as it probably won't even be supported. If you're on an AMD processor that's relatively new, 2009, 2010, 2011, that'll be fine. And as you can see, I am on an AMD processor, a uh, Phenom X4 955 processor at 3.2 gigahertz. It's really, really decent. And it has 8 gigs of RAM, and you need good RAM to run a virtual machine because you're going to be allocating memory to this virtual machine, which is essentially like having a full computer. So you need at least 4 gigs of RAM, I'd recommend, to, to start off with. Anything less than that, if you have 2 gigs, you might be lucky and be able to run Windows, but very poorly. And, yeah, as far as that's concerned, you need RAM. But, as you can see, this is a very nice workstation, because it allows me to have different tools. I can go between my operating systems. That's my server operating system, and this is Windows XP. I can also view it in full screen. Unity, which, if you know, is it's kind of a fusion. I'm not too much of a fan, but I can launch Windows programs here. Let's see here. Let's go back to Unity. Let's see. It takes a second for it to enter into Unity, quote unquote. Let's give it a second.
And let's... Unity doesn't work the best. It, like I said, I'm not much of a fan of it. But it does allow you to launch Windows applications right from your browser or your operating system. It just doesn't work that well. That's one thing I actually don't like about the system is Unity because it's pointless unless you're running Mac OS X and want that Windows feel to it. Or you want it to be integrated into the operating system. So... Let's exit Unity as it takes quite a bit of resources and, quite frankly, is kind of useless. So all I have to do is view and, let's see here, Unity, exit Unity, here, and we're back to our old desktop. So as you can tell, it is back and running fine. I do apologize. I tried Unity, but it didn't work. But as you can see, I am running Windows XP. I can also run it in full screen. And I'll just refresh the screen here. It's running very poorly because of the camera program, unfortunately. So let's send a control alt delete, as you can see from here. And with luck, you'll get it working fine. Like I said, there's just problems with the recording. So it won't look like this bad when you're installing it. Now, I can also gain access to Windows. I mean, this is pretty much the full deal. If I want to access my server, for example, uh, 2008R2, oops, which is my other home server, as you can see, I have this right here. I can access my files from other virtual machines. So it's very handy. And I can also do this. or should I say I can also access stuff from my house and it's pretty much your full computer I mean it works very well you can run games on it and it works well like I said there's no complaints and you can even switch between each computer in full screen mode so if I go into full screen I can switch back and forth between these two so it's very cool I can even pause it if I want to and then I can replay it. So it's going to save my virtual machine state. I can replay it by hitting the play button. Or I can leave it alone, which is probably what I'll end up doing. Now, I can also create a new virtual machine. And like I said, I put out a video there, a couple, to show you how to install a virtual machine. You can even connect it to a server. You can import your Windows XP mode, which is the when I did another video on that, as you, you'll see it in the links. And pretty much, that's it, guys. I mean, it's a very, very solid program. Uh, and uh, quite frankly, it's the only one I use. If you try out VirtualBox, I believe it's called, I've had bad luck with it on Windows and Mac OS X, even Linux. I've had bad luck with it, so I don't recommend it necessarily. I recommend VMware Player, which is very good, too, if you want to go free. And I will post all the links out there, guys. And... Have a Merry Christmas if you do celebrate it, and I will be making more videos. So definitely comment, rate, and subscribe.